Our in-house document expert, Dan Freeman, is going to take us through some of the common challenges that an examiner may face when faced with potentially fraudulent documents. So the first document we have here is uh, everyone's favourite document, the, the infamous Italian ID card. Um, and if we have a look on the front cover page, we have an example of an alteration on the identity card number. So here if we zoom in, it's fairly obvious visibly that there's been um, an alteration, but there are a few ways that we can uh, check this and also um, identify what the original number was as well. So if we have a look at the side lights first, we have an example here of mechanical erasure where parts, presumably of the number four, part has been removed uh, to turn this into a one. And if we go back to normal visible lights, Again, we can see where an actual physical pen has been used rather than the, uh, the letter, uh, letterpress printing that's uh, traditionally used. And if we just use a fairly high camera filter and just refocus that, you can see where this pen actually starts to drop out and react completely differently to the original ink. On the inside of this document, we also have evidence of photo substitution. So here we can see uh, cut marks where the original photograph has been removed. Um, and normally when this document is made, a dry stamp is um, applied to the, the photograph, which will also appear on the paper document as well. But if we use the side lights, not only can we see the cut marks um, even more, we can see visibly the stamp on the photograph itself, but a complete lack of the stamp on the actual paper document itself. And here we would expect to see that stamp overrunning onto the paper. Um, so the fact that this is missing is a clear indication that this is not the original photo that was present in this uh, document. Our second example, um, we have two Lithuanian driving licenses, uh, one genuine, our specimen, and the other, which is our suspected uh, counterfeit. If we have a look at the genuine document first, and just this area here is a good example of um, the quality of printing uh, and the type of printing that you would expect in genuine documents. Um, and if I capture this and compare this to our suspect document, you can immediately see um, it looks even that printed, it looks as though the image is out of focus, um, but it is in focus, even the, the little kind of hairs on the, the document here um, we're indicating that, but you can clearly see the difference in quality uh, of the printing between the two documents. And this is one of the most common uh, giveaways of the more basic counterfeits, it's just the general quality of the printing. Uh, and we, all, we only need to see this using uh, higher magnification within the VSCs uh, for the lack of this feature on the passport. Here we have an example of uh, a bank uh, money uh, transfer document. And in this particular example, we're focusing in on the amount, uh, in this case, uh, the first three numbers of uh, this amount, which in this case says 644,000 euros. So a substantial amount, but we believe that this has been altered. And if in, this, in this case, if we use the spotlight, already we can start to see some evidence of an alteration or potentially uh, multiple inks. And this, in this particular case, we can see that um, the six, there is a number behind which is looking quite different. It looks more, indi more indicative of the number one. Um, we can also see evidence of inks behind the, uh, the characters here as well, but they look to be the same number. So this might be an example where this entire document has been either bleached or the ink has been physically removed. Um, and these numbers have just been simply rewritten on top. But instead of a one, this first digit has been changed to a six. So from 144,000 to 644,000. So this is a very good example where we can use the spotlight 
to still see the fluorescence of inks that have been uh, removed and cannot physically seen uh, under normal lighting. So here we have no indication of any original ink and if we use uh, side lighting there is no indication of any um, physical alteration but again you can still see here a shadow from this uh, what would be indicating of the number one which again you would not expect if this was just written with the number six. Using the side light, we highlighted um, the possible location of this, the original number one. So we could take this a step further and examine this under 3D. Uh, so we can see here the original uh, colors of the document. But if I now change this to, to this here, we can now again start to see evidence of this original number here, as well as other areas here, which again seem to indicate or confirm that this is the number four that's just simply been rewritten over at the top. But we definitely have an anomaly here within this first character of the one being changed into a six.